Throw Gang, we are joined by the Vacation Vixen, Lauren Schlossman, and myself, the MIA MVP, James Harris. Welcome <laughs> to the weekly running of the boys with today's full episode only available on Patreon.com. Slash Thong Fits, I'm saving my voice. Oh. <laughs> I think I think I should have been the staycation sultan. Mm. You're the, the vacation the vixen. The PTO. Welcome back. The PTO ho. Before we get into the friends and family sale of the century, hitting my thick era <laughs> and going carbone crazy in Miami, let's get into some housekeeping. Yes, parts. sir. Uh, <laughs> happy Halloween. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> the best is we were walking to buy Halloween candy for the children that live in your building, and the Polish that Polish guy, your neighbor, yeah. just goes, "What day is it? Uh, what day is it?" <laughs> <laughs> You're like um, Monday. No, he's asking for tr- he's asking to like uh, for trash purposes oh that's what he was Come doing on, i just assumed it was like a just a crazy retired polish guy that has no sense of the space-time continuum no, he's been, based he's been, on his lifestyle he's been drunk since <laughs> george w but uh as a soon-to-be rich guy and homeowner i assume you'll get it you'll understand okay when you need to know like what the garbage days are when that happened i was just like yo i want to be this guy I'm almost like I'm like close. You pretty much are. Yeah. You pretty much are. <laughs> but I just want to be like asking bystanders just what day it is. Yeah. Every day of the week. Well, you only know it's Monday because I was like, yo, we have to pod today. And you're like, oh, fuck. Well. I just started. <laughs> I just started watching some trilogy. No, I've. Yo. So are you a scary movie guy? Well, no, you're not a movie guy, but you like horror films? I'm a bit of a movie guy. Um, No, I don't. Not really. Because when it's spooky season for me, I like to boot up a good old erotic thriller. Oh, like what? Ne- uh, well, I Necro? Wa- I watched this. Well, Necropolis or whatever. <laughs> Necromancer? Necromancer. Uh, no, but I watched a movie called The Hunger on HBO Max with oh, David awesome. Bowie. Yeah. Susan Sarandon. Is on Letterboxd? If you want to see Susan Sarandon get her titties sucked by a bisexual vampire, tap in. Wow. We'll leave it at that. 3.5 stars. Um, her son, at one point, was really good friends with my brother. So she what used happened? to be a family friend. They uh, they, no, they just like went to different schools. Family friend. So you've met Susan Sarandon for the I have for the um, when I was a kid though I didn't know who she was um, for stepmom when it aired in Japan <laughs> she like broke off some cash for my mom what? to fly with her to Japan and kind of be her like interpreter and your mom did that yeah wait how was that sick I don't know Susan Sarandon seems like a fucking chill time yeah. Um, she loves the New York Rangers. Ping pong. She likes ping pong. She likes uh, s- slapping younger guys' cheeks. Yeah, dude. Um, I yeah. love Susan Sarandon. Her titties were looking nice. Jesus Christ. In front yeah. of the paywall. <laughs> um, okay, so the housekeeping is Susan okay, Sarandon's right, titties. Right, right, right. Friends and family sale of the century. Right, so today's Monday. The sale is Saturday. This is all happening Saturday. That's what I was trying to get to. Saturday, <laughs> November 5th. Lawrence and I are taking over and... A whole lineup of yeah. uh, cloud motherfuckers. We'll go that through we're the full roster through. in a second. Yeah. We're taking over this space at 16 Morton Street yeah, in the baby. West Village, mm-hmm. and apparently they like shut down the whole block. So it's gonna be a motherfucking movie. Yep. It sounds like the weather's gonna be nice from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. The throwing fits, friends and family, basic space bazaar. Shout out basic space mm-hmm. for sponsoring the ting. Uh, we have a whole. Murderers Row yeah, from the Throwing Fits Extended Universe that have purged their closets. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them, as vintage stores, have purloined their own you know, shelves and are going to bring inventory. it to... Their inventory. going to bring it to this sale. Um, dude, it's going to be a darty. Dude, it's going to be fire. Dude. Well, so we got free... Bur- well, listen, we got free right. burgers from Shy. So we got course, free beers from Ebbs. We have free um, mixies from Onda. Tequila seltzers yeah. from Onda. It's going to be Drake's, sick, dude. Drake's tequila seltzer of choice. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. here's the full lineup. So you got okay. Jimmy and Larry. Boom. You got G and DeLeon. Boom. Who you know. <laughs> Bro. Wait, owns everything. The best is that G and obviously did this with Seek Now. Shout out our boy Eric Kano. And we're like, yo... Can you do a back-to-back closet sale? And he's like, oh, bet your ass I can. He's like, I need a third. Oh, bet you. I need a third. Yeah. Uh, Gian literally ha- owns everything. So you yeah. know that he's if, if there's something that has existed, it's going to be at the sale. He's going to be, whether, and listen, I think everyone is going to toe the line between quality and quantity. Gian is going to have everything. Because yeah. he owns every piece of clothing that has ever been released, at least in the past two decades. If you want a Jim Joe off-white rug that it quoted <laughs> the man himself, you imagine? Gene will have it. I would buy that. If he was selling it, I would buy it. Not that like I deserve it more than him, You're but like I would it. love You're to have gonna... one of those. Yeah. Are you going to shop? All right, let's keep oh, going. Who's let's keep going. Let's keep our booths. Okay, Fan- our fantasy explosion. Boom! Shout out Kevin the boy. You no, know, is who's also making merch for the event with Shies. Oh, that's confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I, oh, so that's I, I got a little sneak. It's pretty fucking gas. So that's what I I need one of those tees for sure. Yeah. 
Um, Kevin, I know that you haven't mailed me the stuff that I bought from you because you've been so busy setting up for the sale. Um, Fantasy Explosion consistently just one of the best like weekly drops week to week. So yeah. you know the heat's going to be there. And also, so cheap. Yeah. Well, the big thing for me is, and I can't see is so cheap. I can't speak to anybody besides myself. I am so ready to fucking not like haggle, but like I want to oh, offload right. so much. Prices are not fixed. Well, we'll get to that. Yeah. After the murder, prices, prices to move things. Well, everyone has their own agenda. I think you and I, things are priced to move. Yep. Um, but the, 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 boogie. the pricing is malleable. We'll say that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Next up, Leisure Centra. Leisure <laughs> Center. Shout out Frank. Shout out Frank. Yop Sport. Um, he's going to be hauling a huge load from Hester over to 16 Morton Street. Mm -hmm. We got the boy, Chizzy, Chad Sanzel <laughs> from Street Rack. Shout out the boy, dude. Who, well, I guess will be just fucking lugging his rack from Essex and, yeah. and Canal all the way to the West Village. Um, he's just going to be pushing that cart like radio, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Jared Leto in Raccoon for a Dream. Um, <laughs> he has big heat. Everybody. Oh, dude. Yeah, well, you know what's cool is... Obviously, like everyone here is friends and fam, as stated in the uh, in the name of the fucking event. But like all throwing fits extended universe fucking homies. But I feel like everyone brings something a little different to the table. Exactly, which is why it's like, yo, fucking get your plastic out, fam. Um, intramural sports. Shout out Bijan, Big Bij 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 um, Bij 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 So these guys, I think they all requested to like get set up next to each other. So I think there's gonna be like a little fucking party mood over in the vintage boys. Oh, corner. probably. Drinks are going to be flowing, dude. And rounding out the vintage uh, sellers, we have brand new kids on the block, but the goaded. Pray tell. The goaded barbershop, Mildred. Oh, that's right, they dude. They started up their their vintage program um, led by Greg's List Greg. Yeah. <laughs> he and Greg Rob. And Rob yeah. he, and, he and Handsome Rob will be in the fucking building yeah, peddling dude. good old American classics. Um, I went there when it first opened like a few weeks ago and copped the Kermit. Klein, <laughs> Kermit Klein tea, yeah. and my girlfriend got an Elvis tea that is, I'm kind of fucking jealous that it doesn't fit me. It is huge gas, um, and also just like incredibly fairly priced. That's kind of it for the vintage guys, and when it comes to like homies, editors, designers, etc. Industry cetera, folk. If he's not in Italy, Angelo Urutia yeah. um, will be offloading a, sh and talk about fucking hoarders like Ian. <laughs> I know, dude, prop, like literally people with a problem. This guy has issues uh, when it comes to hoarding clothing and hopefully we can offer up a solution or you can i think as the former well like creative director like uh head of like brand director at throwing e fits intelligent hoarding solutions yeah <laughs> former brand director at engineer garments he's going to oh, have dude. like i thought i was gonna have a lot of eg in my Same. selection this guy is fucking this is gonna be a friends and family sample sale on its own is he do you think he's bringing any 4s like samples and shit I don't know because it's such a. He also has sick vintage. He has vintage Armani. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want to overpromise and then have Angelo underdeliver because I was fucking talking sideways on the pod. But he, he, he's like the most. His collection to me is the most mysterious because as a designer, I think he's protective and kind of not gatekeepy because that is a pejorative. But like, I'm really curious to see what he trots out. That's where I would be spending my money. Well, besides all the great people you already mentioned. I think with the forest stuff, I think that the because the brand is still relatively young, he's probably keeping like samples and stuff as yeah. like references and building out that archive. Sure. But again, he's been in this shit for like 20 years, mostly in the and EG. Yeah, well, much longer. Um, plus, like, I mean, he is the most interesting man in menswear, and also somebody that mm -hmm. every time I see him, I'm, I'm looking at him and just like, fuck, I need to like yeah. step my shit One up. One of the most stylish guys that we know. Absolutely. Um, so he's not confirmed. Hopefully, but he's, we're not, hoping. hopefully he's not in Italy. <laughs> yeah. speaking, of, speaking of guys that influence, especially your style. Oh, yeah. Jay Pesco, baby. Oh, Josh the Peskowitz, the, the god. god, dude, Pesco in the building. Yeah, that's gonna be, dude, another guy that just has been collecting his entire life, and then hopefully all of us, myself included, uh, will reap the benefits. Yeah. Um, Shout out Josh. Congrats on the sex, new father. Yes, he needs to sell some clothes yeah, to start right. funding that college fund, baby. <laughs> For real, dude. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> <laughs> what? Jesus, Sorry, I have a call. Uh, Hugo Mendoza. Oh, big Hugo in the building. Big H in the building. That's got to be what's just so much Stussy. So much. Juicy I mean, no, but he's got. Stussy. But he's a fucking big collector. He's a big John's collector as well. Yeah, I guess he is like he a like lot. the crazy like vintage Issey Miyake yeah, watch. Yeah, I guess you're right. He caught when he was on the podcast. He had Bottega delivered to the door via Uber. That's Eats. right. <laughs> Uber feats. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about that. That was a flex, dude. Yeah, so of course it's going to be crazy Stussy, but I think like he is, uh, yo, he has a lot of jorts. I don't know if you're selling your jorts wave, <laughs> yeah. but you know he's going to be trotting I'm not out. selling my jorts. He's going to be trotting out the jorts. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, that's going to be 
He's another one of the most stylish guys we know. What absolutely, the fuck? Absolutely. Um, next up, Despot. Oh, so for all the short kings out there, for all the short <laughs> brawlic kings out there. <laughs> yeah, or maybe yo, I was like yo, De- I was like yo, Des Despot. Uh, <laughs> I'm not allowed. To, I don't know if I'm allowed to say his real name. Um, Alec. Yo, Alec Reinstein. <laughs> um, Alec Grindstein. What's up with the What's up with the Unibobber shit you uh, bid on? Oh yeah, right. Remember when you were like driving through like Montana or whatever, and you like found the auction and just pulled over to the side of the road and cop some Unibomber swag? I would imagine that he said he said maybe I'll offload some of his Merrells. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's gonna. Well, I wonder if he'll be selling any vintage low. I know he's a collector. I just wonder if that'll make it to you know the the booth. Well, I think he was like he was like, can I sell some of the bullshit that I get for free? <laughs> I was like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, whatever but you I was want. Like, but bro. also use some Unibomber swag. He's like, all right, I'll offload some of the But also some fucking memorabilia. Yeah. But no, he's going to the collectibles community. He's, he's going <laughs> <laughs> to. Let, ro- let me get a Unibomber rookie card. Let me get that Tazinski. Tazins- Kaczynski. Kaczynski rookie card. Let me get that Kaczynski Funko Pop, baby. <laughs> Ted Kaczynski. Ted Kaczynski. Yeah, that T Kaczynski Funko Pop. <laughs> that TK. Yo, do they, have a, do they have a Ted Kaczynski Funko Pop? They, they probably should do. do. A, they should do a Dahmer. They should do a Dahmer rookie they card. They do have a. So hot right now. <laughs> there should be TF Funko Pops. Yeah, sure. I mean, there kind of is on the flyer. <laughs> should I get out ahead of that? We had, we had, we There's co- nothing wrong with we it. We commissioned cartoons. We commission. Okay, kind of. We kind of we commissioned cartoons of ourselves. You look spectacular. Thank you. It's fire. It's not car- It's not a caricature because it's not like I don't even know. It's what. realist. They didn't, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't accentuate like your goatee or I don't even know. They gave me more beard than I actually have. Which I, I appreciate. Speaking of the fucking Unibomber, my cartoon literally looks like a police sketch for just like white bearded rapist. You look like you seduced Paul Pelosi in a gay bar and then attacked him with a hammer. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm like, what the? And it was funny because I. It's, you look like if aliens came down and they're like, yo, like, uh, just narc. Draw yeah. a fucking narc. And that, not, that'd be able to get you. And not to be like, you know, white man shaking his fist on, on, the, on the pod. Shout out to the artist, though. It's but, fire. But she's not white. And I think I'm like, this is. Oh, my God. I'm like, this is oh, racist. Oh, white man person. Oh, <laughs> another this Jew. Is a racist uh, drawing. She probably got your name off the Kanye media, Jewish media execs list. <laughs> Imagine how. You think I, you're on that? No. Are you kidding me? I, I, you're I, one you, half of like. Uh, top 50 arts podcast. Well, if Kanye wants to come on the show and fucking talk it out, call me you Jew have my him? face. Are you Joe? Of course we would have him. Like a, Wait, would you platform this man? Of course. It would, be, it would be incredible. So many hypotheticals and theoreticals that you know, we could get into. <laughs> we gotta, I gotta hold his yeezy feet to the fire. Has, your, has the anti-Semitism that you face day to day increased? Because, <laughs> no. yo, when we buy this candy, I go up to the fucking cash register. <laughs> it's bad awkward. I go up to the the the... Cashier. cashier line and she's like oh can you my shit's broken can you go over here i'm like okay i go over there it's a fucking woman in a full geisha halloween costume I'm like uh i said konichiwa she, she was did. asian ish she like well she looks like you look like asian asian adjacent you would assume she wasn't japanese oh intru- how how do you know did you ask i i said konichiwa and tr- I, I know i can look you at can a, spot a japanese person in a crowd i can look at an asian motherfucker i know what they are i know what they are so yeah. then so then what was she Filipino. Wow. And or Latinx. So, 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 yeah, so, she was Puerto Rican. So you were offended. <laughs> no, I was like, this is so awkward. I was hoping that you would take a photo, but you don't, you can't see no. out of the self-reflective bubble that you have. I was really hoping yeah, you'd take I'm, a photo. Yeah, I'm going to snap a photo of this poor working class woman, bro. Of me buying candy from, from a geisha. A geisha. <laughs> it wasn't really I was disgusting. snickering laughing. Yeah. Uh, I said, Konichi water her. To answer your question, no, the anti-Semitism I normally face has not increased. What has increased has been phone calls from my father wanting to talk about Kanye West, which is how I know that we have a real problem on our hands. If my parents are asking me about my opinions on Kanye West, we got to shut down this whole thing, bro. He's like, I, uh, son, I hope you're not wearing Yeezys. <laughs> is that your impression of my dad? This of is Douglas Bo- Schlossman. That's my brother. My father's name this is, is, is Bill. Mildred. <laughs> this is Bill Schlossman. <laughs> Mildred Vintage. This is... This has been Bill Schlossman. Damn, dude. Um, this, yeah, is Trill, I mean, this is Trill Bill Schlossman. I don't know if this will surprise the audience at home. I do not know your parents' names, so I'm not blaming you for not knowing mine. I didn't make uh, that Bill and Mindy. No, I'm so, yeah, but I don't know your parents' names. Well, I've told them to you. You just choose not to remember them because, again, you only have a self-reflective bubble right. of awareness around your <clears> fucking <throat> face. Back Next to the up. roster. Despot. Back to the housekeeping. We already Despot. said Despot. Yes. No lead dirt bag. Uh, I have no idea what this guy's going to bring to the table. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to meme it, I guess. But um, what's the name he's using for his TikTok shit? Craig. Craig. <laughs> Craig will be there in the building. Craig will be there in his Eric Emanuel sweats. Lower East Side tours. What kith, is what is hat. he gonna? He's the biggest wild card. What will he be bringing? To I the don't table? know. Literally. Um, I mean, the future. He, he has like 
I would say he doesn't have like he has good style. It's yeah. relatively simple. He's a handsome boy. He's handsome. He's tall. <laughs> um, a lot of like vintage Levi's and just like white tees, like exactly what I'm wearing right now. Which we're not getting to the fit check until 30 minutes in. Okay. Um, I don't know. That's yeah. kind of a wild. He's card. the wild card for sure. Yeah. But anyway, shout out, shout out Craig. But Wait. now that now that he's unmasked um, <laughs> from GQ and TikTok, uh, come meet Craig. Alex. Correct. Sorry. No. <laughs> Oh, is it, no, his name's out there. His name's out oh, there. Oh, did they say, come meet Alex Hartman? Oh, the whole, okay. <laughs> um, we Damn, got, this is a oh, paywall. This Fuck. is... Okay, the next three are huge gas, all for different reasons. This is somebody where you probably, if you're like a fucking head, you know who this is. Um, but honestly, I think that based off his excitement and just like communication and the photos that he sent oh, us... I know what you're saying. Yeah, Brandon yeah. Mahler, yeah. formerly of Drake's, Currently head of merchandising, visual at merchandising, visual merchandising at, ALD. at ALD. Yeah, and bro, he is, sent us a picture of sixteen Home Depot boxes. He is like, good stacked. He is like professionally maneuvering um, to really make this a historic fucking zuvi. He might have. He would be my sneaky pick for. It's going to be the best booth. Yeah. Or they, the rack, best rack. Yeah, and it's shit saying booth. I don't think it's not a trade it, show. Everyone gets a rack and a table, <laughs> and hopefully, and hopefully a steamer. Um, I like how you and I are also, I didn't realize this, but talking base, we're not going to be, I thought we'd be like together, but we're not. It's going to be like. I think we'll be next to each other. Do you, right? I think I'm bringing more stuff. Well, we should talk about what we're bringing a little preview. I wonder if it should be like competition of like who, who sells, who sells the most. More? Yeah. Well, I think that the Larry clones are going to come and try and smell your panties and your fucking used shoes, your used lick, sneakers that you're wearing. Lick my Weegeons. <laughs> yeah. Also like if I, if I, we want to do that, I would just price everything a dollar. Right, but I'm not going to price no, my Arcteryx Valence like, at a no, dollar. If you did that, you wouldn't beat me. On oh, so is it amount or is it oh, quantity sold? Well, I have. I think I'm bringing. I think I'm bringing. Well, I know you're not done putting everything together. I am. I think I'm bringing more than you. I mm, think I maybe. Well, uh, let's no spoilers yet. Who's next on the list? So Brandon, check for that. Also, if you're not familiar, Brandon is our homie. He's fucking sick. Amazing he's a, personal he's style. Also, yeah, check exactly. the Esquire piece that uh, just dropped. Uh, the five fits that uh, Fenny did with him. Esquire. Yeah, and he uh, his vintage selection is fucking. Honestly, mad like, hardcore there. shit. Yeah. Really good fucking vintage menswear. I'm as sure well. he's going sure to be offloading a ton of Drakes, probably a ton of ALD. Yeah. All you fucking mm -hmm. all, all these out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for all you teddy for, boys. For all you grocery stores. <laughs> for all you teddy boys. Um, that was a, that was a subgenre, right? Teddy boys. Was it? Yeah, it was like a UK thing. Maybe. Yeah, it was yeah. like the mods and the teddies. Yeah, I think that yeah. sounds about right. Um, we'll find out when we go to the UK. Next up, Tommy Ton. Oh Ooh. my goodness, bro. This was, so he wasn't, where do we see him? Oh, we saw him at the Pharrell thing. Yeah. And we were talking about, he's like, yo, I want to sell. And talk about fucking hoarders and like hoarding the best shit. Also, uh, the audience at home, I don't know if they follow him on social media, but his parents' house where he stores everything fucking mm. burned down, tragically. Luckily, no one was hurt. Right. Thank God, obviously, first and foremost. His women's archive, because, you know, he is a big time collector of, because maybe the most studied true fashion scholar that, yes. like, we're friends with, the women's stuff, honestly, was lost to the blaze. But his men's shit, oh, untouched. Oh. And now we'll be up for grabs. That's going to be what, Kiko. That's going to be uh, fucking Issy. That's going to be he has, crazy sneakers. He has um, the Phenomenon jacket with yeah. like a thousand pockets on the back. Oh, that's the like drug, a, the, a Cokehead's the, worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Larry's worst nightmare, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are my drugs? Where are my drugs? You're that guy. A little ASMR for the boys. The guy playing his fellas. fucking body is, a, <laughs> is an instrument. Okay, and last, <laughs> and absolutely not least, the Throwing Fits Groms oh, hell yeah. are participating in this. Um, some of them, not all of them. Chuck will have footwear for sure, Ski. Chuck will be there. Um, Rylan. For the big boys. Rylan will be there. The merchman with a ton of cheapy, ton of CP, and Chippy? I'm sure others. Uh, he, he's a big hoarder as well. Damn, yeah. a lot of hoarders. I got to imagine that's going to be like a good like vintage. Because, you know, obviously, you know, coming from where he did fucking in Tejas, I feel like there's going to be some good Wranglers, maybe some cowboy boots. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I guess last bit of it. So that's the full roundup. It's like one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Woo! Well, more, more, I guess. More. Fifteen like entities, but like we're two racks. Throwing fits groms are a few racks. Yeah. Um Racks on racks on racks. Nice. Mm hmm And uh yeah, it'll be credit card only. Yeah. No cash. Uh there um, might be a Venmo situation. Probably not though. No. Well, if you have Venmo, then you just use your credit card. Yeah. Or debit card. Don't bring don't bring cash. 1 to 7 p.m., 16 Morton Street. Info coming soon. It's going to be a fucking good time just to hang. You don't have to buy anything, obviously. No. Um, well, 
Here's the thing. If you yeah. come, get drunk, and then let your inhibition slip yeah. and fucking cop up. Eat and drink for free, yeah. but then buy Fire Johns for just a little bit of money. Uh, do you want to preview some stuff that you're bringing? Maybe some highlights, or even just bigger picture, fifty thousand degree yeah, foot I mean, view. I packed, fifty thousand foot view. Not I kind of packed in like a uh, like a a whirlwind last week, so I'm a little not too. Oh, as, you as the as the owner of the worst memory, the most dog shit memory in the world. I'm not a hundred percent certain what I have in there. You have no short term memory. I have no long term memory. So right. combined, we have one brain. Yeah, we are just a, a whole. Wait, you you went through everything before you went to Miami. Yeah. Oh, so it's yeah. Because like, there was like one slow day um, before your vacation. Uh, last vacation. Um, okay, but a lot of outerwear because I have like I was like I don't need like fucking full big black puffers. <laughs> um, so I got Arcteryx Valence in there, some Our Legacy outerwear, uh, some a lot of acne, a lot of Our Legacy. And a lot of engineer garments, I think, are the most represented nice. brands in there. And, uh, sorry, not even Acne. Our Legacy and Engineer Garments, maybe. Oh, and Capital. Capital oh, for sure. Hell yeah, dude. Um, Got the cap on deck? Yeah, I mean, not that much, but right. like, definitely, like, not like a ton of pieces, but like, uh, like four or five. Damn. So, like, but a lot of it just doesn't fit me anymore because I'm no, totally. fat now, which we'll get to. Um, I have the exact opposite problem. A lot of t shirts, a lot of knitwear, Ooh. a lot of fucking pantalones. Um, some shoes, yeah. but like more like mules, not like sneakers. Uh, I don't know. I, again, I'm fucking blanking on it. But uh, and you're not even done, right? Don't you have to go through a whole another closet? You said I got another section of pants, and <laughs> that I got to go through, and I think that's it. And section eight, actually, <laughs> multiple sections of pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm. I have the exact section eight, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, nice. I actually wouldn't be a bad t- title. Section eight, A T E, or is that not? And you're always like it doesn't the, hit. The title has to entice. I'm like, yeah, I don't it think does, anyone... and, and that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Uh, I have the exact opposite problem where you know, fucking Larry has lost a little bit of weight due to my eating disorder disguised as a dietary restriction. Right, the biggest loser. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, well played. Damn, I walked right into that one. Don't write that down, you motherfucker. It's an option. It's <laughs> the an option. Biggest loser, yeah. aka Larry. Yeah, that's a good title. Um, I got mad pants. I got fucking a lot. I got EG in there. I got some fucking Dries trousers in there. And by the way, I Ooh. am fucking price to move. I got a bunch of Stussy. I got a bunch of fucking 18 East. I got a lot of fleece. That's a big category for me. Um, oh, yo, and I'm going crazy with the footwear. Mm. Like we're talking. Laura Piana summer walks, Ooh. off white UNC Jordan, ones, black cat unworn, fours, bread ones, b- worn twice. Okay, which I fucked up because those are like two thousand dollars sneakers. What are you gonna price them at? I, I, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one for me because they're worth at least five hundred. All right, for the but for the know. zero people listening that want some fucking un- <laughs> some twice worn onk off white, you can probably resell them for a G. Anyway, um, bunch of fucking loafers. I'm um, no, no, so yeah. Are you pricing to move or are you pricing like I'm priced, I'm priced to move. Yeah, I need to get rid of this shit. Like, and I guess like for those of you that can't make it, this is gonna um, yes. whatever doesn't sell day of from all the s- vendors is gonna be on basic space like a week or two but that'll later. That'll still be a good selection. I think you and I are gonna be intentional with like how we kind of roll things out so that some good shit does hit online. I sure. so this is like this is the stuff that I don't want to put on grill because mm-hmm. it's too good for grill. Yeah, like you, you were mentioning there's, this. There's so many losers on grill. No offense to Bro, your new riches. Ha- the deal hasn't closed. Chill. Oh, yeah, no. Grill Daddy, is, chill. Grill is really going to take a fucking hit based on what I have to say about the fucking Balenciaga booligans on there. Um, <laughs> but it's like, I can't put like Vintage Our Legacy on there because people are like, well, this is fucking... Vintage Our Legacy. Our Legacy. Ca- no, it's like 10 years old okay, at this point. Right. Um, you know, with like the different tags. Or like... Uh, like like old T-shirts that, oh, of the, oh, oh you I know have a lot of vintage tees too. You know, what's very well represented. A lot of vintage Mark McNary, Ooh, which again we talk about. Heads, which like, bro. I'm curious. I don't know if it's gonna move or not because it is like it was very much ahead of its time and does play now. But We're gonna see. When I was a wayfish twenty pack then, and not a big fat fucking <laughs> loser <laughs> like I am now. Welcome to the club, buddy. Um, yeah, it's funny. Like I'm big and fat, but I still have a smaller waist than you. I don't know. Are you? Well, you tell me. Are you a thirty three yet? Anyway, a lot of join McNary. me, brother. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm uh, thick. I'm, I'm thick. What was it? What were we talking about? You're talking about being a wayfish twink, and you have all this McNary on deck. A lot of McNary on deck. Um, yeah, pricing it to fucking move. Cause like, I, I, yeah. I, I want to clear out space. 
And Bro, also, Jenna is over the moon. I've never seen her more in love with me than me fucking purging literally a third of my wardrobe. For some reason, well, not for some reason, knowing <laughs> that like this is whatever sells here is going to be in good hands and not some oh, fucking yes. asshole and grilled. Absolutely, I'm much more willing to part <laughs> with like, like my I have a T-shirt from a New York thing. Ooh, very like streetwear 2.0, I guess you call it. I copped my. Like I don't know. That might be like yeah, probably 2.0. Shout out a uh, former canceled uh, Aaron, Aaron the, the downtown down downtown Don, which was like my like giant shirt until it became uh, until I became too fucking thick to wear it. Damn, dude. Um, you really like fucking that, let yourself go, dog. Like uh. Like a Lithuania uh, tie dye ninety two oh, t shirt. Fuck, I have, I got a, dude. I I think I'm not done either. I gotta go because I have one too. I have like a honestly. I should. You want a double X? It might fit you. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm willing to let go of a lot more than just like sell yeah, some asshole and grail. He's just like trying to like you know financially gain from the transaction or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather all the stuff go to the fro- throw gang. I think it's gonna definitely for both of us. Oh, n- almost, almost almost nailed it, bro. You. Um, RIP Kobe. I think it's gonna be a lot of like first come first served. And I'm like, yo, I under- understand if you have like plans on Saturday and you can't get there more towards like the talent. Like like we said, we're gonna be strategically rolling things out. But yeah, I think it's about yeah. I want it to like I'm with you, dude. I want it to go to people that actually fucking care about this shit that are gonna wear it well. Give these Johns a good home. They don't fit us anymore or like whatever reason we need to part yeah. with it. So fucking salute to you guys. There's a lot of stuff from I have a lot of stuff from the Nepenthes friends and family sale that Ooh. um I copped at like a crazy discount that I'm just gonna again just price like similarly just to get Pay it out of here. Forward. Exactly. Yeah. Um so come through be Saturday, fun. November fifth, sixteen Morton Street. Um one more bit of housekeeping before we get into it. We have a new collaboration with the fucking mates. Fucking lads man across the pond. Uh yeah. shout out our boys at Percival. We are dropping to celebrate the World Cup. And because yeah. honestly, this is something that like you and I have been wanting to do and like oh, needs, yeah. needed the right partner to do it with. Finally. We're dropping two soccer jerseys. A home and away thing, man. A home and away. Um, the throwing fits footy club established footy club. 2020. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's more of like when the pod was established. Right. And like you and I have been known to, you know, kick kick about. In Venice. Can I kick it? Every time we go to Europe, you can catch us fucking on the pitch, yeah, man. On the pitch, baby. Yeah, you know, you know where to find us. Beautiful pitch today. Uh no, shout out Chris and Terry. Uh shout out Percival. They came to New York. We went out, had a fucking boozy lunch. Uh a, a, a five beer lunch, I believe. Immediately connected. I think you I had did. five beers. I had one beer. <laughs> At least I did. Uh immediately connected with those dudes. And yeah, I mean, we've we have been we've been wanting to do a kit for a minute. They do kits. They're blokes. This is they're kind of like it's a kit, but it's like a they're it's a long sleeve and a short sleeve polo shirt. I mean this but is it's sh- a jersey. Yeah, this is shit that you can wear yeah. uh to the fucking boozer, mm-hmm. to the fucking pitch, um, to see your fucking bird, whatever you want. So we got um a home and away, we got a green a mint green and chocolate ting. Then we got like a dusty blue and chocolate ting, chocolate being the running theme, mm-hmm. obviously. Um the blue is long sleeve, which like I prefer a long sleeve soccer jersey, it just looks more classic and like cooler to me. Okay. I don't fucking know. Um, the short sleeve is like a cool, like raglan sleeve with a contrast detail, right? Yeah, oh, cool. it, uh, I'm excited to see these in person. They're collared. They got they got a they got a real collar on them. Yep, more like a vintage. The mood board, honestly, was the that was the most fun I've had, kind of like concepting something in a while. Mainly because you know me, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a footy fan, man. I don't know about you necessarily. Wait, we didn't make the mood boards. They got sent to us. No, we sent. Why are you gonna fucking embarrass me? We contributed a bunch of stuff, mainly cool palace stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, okay, well, this, this came out last season, so maybe we should uh, kick it a little further back. No pun intended. Um, uh, that is dropping this weekend as well. We don't. It, we're trying to figure it out. Well, the UK. I think there's gonna be a UK drop and the US drop. It's um, pre-order. It's pre-order. It's to celebrate the fucking World Cup that's it's coming up. Pretty I, literally, don't, literally this month. And don't quote me on it. We were like really surprised. When they told us the price, we were like, "Whoa, what? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> like, Are you sure? Like, guys? Is that is that Sterling, man? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that'll be sick, dude. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, hopefully you you know there's one that you like if you don't want to buy the both. Um, and uh, that's why we're going to the UK. We're doing the marketing. We're throwing down at the pub at the boozer. It's gonna be a fucking great time. We're headed to the fucking across the pond tomorrow. Yeah. When you hear this, we will be in transit. We will be mm-hmm. flying over the Atlantic. Yeah. Um, are you ready to play some five on five foot, hey, man? Honestly, dude, I, I guess this is like the thing, right? <laughs> this is like, they're like, yo, what you do is oh, you yeah. go out, you go out on Friday, you get fucking snookered or whatever they say. <laughs> then like you go and like ha- to get over the hangover, yeah. you eat some beans and you go to the pitch and you play five v five with your fucking mates. Yeah. A little, and like you little sweat small it out side a little bit. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, as the guy, which we're doing the reverse, we're playing five v five and then with smash and then getting fucking snookered, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it kind of sounds right. 
We got we got to brush up. like the the billiards game. We got to brush up on her slang and then brush up on her Austin Powers impersonation because yeah, baby, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, <laughs> hurt a lot of feelings. No, as the guy who actually played fucking <laughs> soccer and also has delusions of grandeur, pre Venice, I was like, yo, I'm gonna fucking not that we were playing against. Wait, each other. how long did you play soccer for? Through high school, my whole life. Through high school, yeah, yeah. So and, and like and like uh, intramural in college. That does not count. Okay, yes. Yeah, so okay, so through, through until you're 18 years old. And how old are you now? 35. So for <laughs> slight and not. <laughs> yeah. When did you start playing soccer? Yeah, when I was pretty young. When you're like seven, no, six. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so like 12 years. It's so like a third of your life you played soccer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Well, when you put it that way, but no, I was like, I'm gonna go to Venice. I'm gonna show off for my fucking boy. If we play, each other, oh, I do I'm have gonna, my uh, Ven- gonna... my Venice jersey is uh, up for sale. Oh, it is <laughs> yeah, unworn. Uh, Tag still on. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna fucking wipe the floor. Nay, wipe the pitch with this guy. Uh, with I me? I am not athletic, and my touch is completely gone. With that said. Uh, it's gonna be a fun time. I hope that no one's taking it like crazy seriously. I'm not ready like, to like, like throw down. I think that that's the, what you're asking. I think that if you're British, we're playing against each other too. We're gonna be like oh, really? on separate. Squads, I think that yeah. oh, I'm gonna fucking take you out, bro. <laughs> Please. I don't. think that if you're British, like your baseline skill level is oh, like yeah, already yeah. here, oh, and then like if you and I are like quote unquote on the more athletic side of the spectrum. Mm. Uh, by the way, I thought of a good one. Autism powers. <laughs> there you go. Um, that is, that's uh, the episode title. Well, uh, it can't be because that is already a title is that of, ableist? of Come Town. Like Autism Come Town powers? Yeah, they did that bit. God damn it. Yeah. Um, so no, it will not be the title. Okay. <laughs> nice well, try. I make you good at math, baby. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, a high level riffing that you've come to expect from the goddamn exactly. motherfucking boy. Yeah, no, it's gonna be fucking embarrassing because, like, even if we pull off like a play, if you, if we don't, if well, we, there's no keepers on when it's small side. If we don't pull Smaller a hamstring, goals. that's oh. a success. I want to like, you know, I want to be, I want to be boozing while playing. I want to be smoking on the pitch. I want to do, I want to be more Liam Gallagher than fucking Cristiano Ronaldo. I've been weirdly on like five v five like Sunday league football TikTok. Uh, how? I don't know, bro. It just happens. Um, I'm, don't <laughs> That's worry. so random. I'm back on. I'm back on Halloween slut TikTok. Don't worry. Oh, thank, um, thank God. Thank God. But uh, for a second there, for a second there, I was on Sunday Football League, where it's just like drunken assholes. Are they like, like well produced clips, or is it just no, no, no? It's just like you're filming shit like uh, of what your friends fuck? playing, but they go fucking hard. Like, like this is these are like like dudes are getting their legs broken. And these shit? are like angry British guys. Yeah. Or, sorry, not to be around These are British guys, <laughs> right? Um, that are just like mad at. Life. The world and yeah. Brexit and they're fucking placing in life mm-hmm. and they're just like kicking the shit literally out of each other. Yeah, I hope it's not. I don't want to. I don't think it's. Gonna I don't think be it's gonna be that. like that. It's I, gonna be. We're, we're playing with a bunch of homies, a yeah. bunch of notable names. We'll talk about. We're gonna do a whole recap of that and the fucking sale. Yo, we are going fucking full turbo. So next Monday's pod. I uh, just got back from Miami, bro, and I just unpacked. I'm repacking, but uh, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you literally went. You're doing Chicago, Miami, London. That's a lot, bro. Whatever happened to Virgil? Me, I'm Virgil now. That's what it is. It was an exhaustion thing, huh? You're saying he died because he traveled too no, much. No, he died of a rare heart cancer. No, what I know. So why are you about? saying you're Virgil? No, you s- what? Just because you're traveling? Is what yeah, because I'm traveling so much. Oh, okay. Put a fucking pin I in my. Saying like, oh my god, what happened to Virgil? He traveled too much, and that's why he died. Put a pin in my bio. Yeah, um, except you don't fly first class. No. Or private. No. Did, Did he, he fly, fly private? You think he flew private? Mm. Hopefully, I'm sure he had. Before. Yeah, probably. Well, like LV really... has to have a jet. No, LV has a jet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Too bad Percival doesn't have a jet. <laughs> maybe. Maybe when the, the pre-orders go start booming. Yeah. Oh, RCPs are closed, unfortunately, because the response was so overwhelmingly large. Um, but we'll fucking see you out in the, in the UK, street. We'll man. be in the streets, bro. We'll see you in Beantown, baby. Uh, all right. I guess that's it for housekeeping fit checks. Wow, dude. Yeah, we want you to mark that down so we can release 34 minutes and 45 seconds of free podcasting. <laughs> um, okay, I'll start since you're taking notes. I wore... Um, uh, Wales boner sambas to the crib. Mm. I have on Wales or- car boner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. <laughs> yeah. All, that's almost at the level of autism powers, dude. Who did you steal that from? Um, okay. <laughs> I don't listen to Town. You pay for it, though. That's no, nice. No, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Adam Friedland show now. Oh, okay. Um, I have on. Uh, shout out the UK home. Although you- I did almost meet up with Stav in Miami, but I was like, I would fucking die if I. He was doing with shows, right? Yeah. My girlfriend was like, oh, We are not going to see Stav Rose healthiest <laughs> stand up. <laughs> In Miami, like <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that's not part of the itinerary. I'm wearing uh, and shout out Magnus, who's going to be in London, I believe, is going to be playing footy with us. Uh, I got on uh, the Halloween edition. Oh, 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 oh man, I need to fucking stretch before I play soccer. Got on some. Uh, I was actually thinking about that, like orange I, running socks. Anytime I work out now, 
like I do like oh, a fifteen minutes. Hurt, I do a fifteen minute stretching routine. Like, <sighs> is it gonna be embarrassing if I do that before? No, I the think. Footy? No, I think you sh- you should stretch. Like, I should I go off to the side and do it myself? It's like a whole fucking thing. Yeah, like, like a whole like routine. I have to do eccentric um, calf raises for my uh, Achilles heel tendonitis. Damn, dude, it's a whole thing. Maybe uh, maybe you can like lead a little group stretch. I want to high like, knees I in w- the aisle like Russell Wilson. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Um, no, I want to see that. I want to see that catch program. Virgin Premium Economy doing high <laughs> knees, <laughs> high knees in the aisle. You're gonna be fucking detained by the time we hit Heathrow. Um, okay, I have on vintage Carhartt double knees. I am wearing a Hanes pleaser. I have on a vintage Arrow Dover OCBD from our friends at the Tomorrow Shop. Thank you, boys, for selecting this uh, this one for me. Love it. I have on a white rodeo hat. The rollie is on the wrist. The wedding ring is on the finger. And again, the person who is benefiting the most from this basic space sale, not us. Not the roster of friends that we're bringing into the fold. Definitely not Basic Space, not Shies, not Ebbs, not Onda. It's Jenna motherfucking Blackwell. She is literally, she has never been happier. She Sorry, has been, wait, why is, why is this coming up again? Are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. No, because the wedding is never, oh, my wedding, because the right, relationship. That's right, that's right. Speaking of living in your own fucking bubble, dude, what, I got to dress up like a geisha to get your attention? Damn, that's racist. <laughs> Uh, New York adorned <laughs> in the lobe, uh, Supreme Hanes on the ass, and uh, drinking Green Point's finest, and just staring longingly at these crunch you want bars some? Or did you and already have your meal. I'm not eating. Them. I had snack? my meal. I had my. Are you, are you allowed to snack? Yeah, but I'm not. I don't want any. Th- though these would be, in in terms of like fun size chocolate candies, not because like you know there's chocolate candies and there's like fruit based candies. Yeah. In terms of chocolate, these would be probably my. Top five or f- even four. You're only missing Reese's and Snickers. And I put Twix up there too. Oh, loved you, right? Yeah. That would be so, apparently so uh, both these or not Crunch, but uh, Frozen Butterfingers are like gas. That's how you break a fucking tooth, dude. No, what They're you don't want to do, what you don't want to do, pray leaned out. You don't want to freeze Twix because the caramel gets too hard. Oh, true. You think a butter because Butterfinger to me is already like pretty tough. A re- uh, Frozen Reese's peanut butter oh. is supposed to be the best. Come on, bro. Are you a Milky Way guy or nope. a Snickers guy? Snickers. Okay, thank a thousand percent. Thank I. Truly despise no, not despise. I don't like him. What even way. is the thing? Nougat. In- what? What'd you call me? <laughs> Shut the fuck. Wait, up. what? Do you, how'd you pronounce it though? Nougat. <laughs> 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 what is it? What? No, could you do eat ch- sixty chicken McNuggets <laughs> in sixty minutes? <laughs> is that like a Swedish guy pronouncing nugget. <laughs> nougat. 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 Um, All right, yeah, so we're on the same means- page with candies. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I was like, okay, what could I not? I'm not a big like candy guy, but no, I was same. like, what could I? What could I enjoy a few of, like, after hope? I don't even know if I get trick-or-treaters, by the way. I'm just going to leave these in a bowl outside. so I don't have to <laughs> not, the They're door. not going to even be touched. Because, like, in my old apartment, my TV was away from the door. So if I was watching TV, you, you couldn't, couldn't like, even hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Now, like, the door's right there. So if, when I'm watching TV tonight, they're going to know that I'm home when they're, like, knocking on the sure, door. Sure, they're going to hear. Yeah, yeah, they're going to so hear. So I'm just going to like, fucking inject these with some fentanyl and leave them outside. Absolutely, dude. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that's candy talk. Yeah. Uh, I was wearing Birkenstock Bostons, which I somehow didn't wear all summer, spring or fall. But we I were kind of off that. Missed them dearly. And in the September issue, I think. Well, no, I think you rated them more highly than me. I'm kind of off my Boston wave. You've never been in, into Bostons. Mm, um, I wouldn't say that's true, but I definitely am not you, like an acolyte like a lot of people are. Yeah, I'm not like an There's acolyte. There's like a shortage. There's literally a shortage I'm not, of suede. I'm not an acolyte, and it's crazy to me that they're like so hype, but it is like it is like a great fucking shoe. Like yeah. regardless of like the hype around it or whatever. Covers your gross toes. A great fucking shoe. Um and great in the fall. Mm-hmm. Uh Levi's House of Strauss <laughs> Vintage. House of House of Strauss. House of Strauss. In the nugget. <laughs> um and engineered garments, white tea. Second layer cardigan. It is cardi season. Yeah, though it's a little fucking fucking hot. scorching in here, yeah. bro. Are you hot? Yeah, but it's fine. The windows okay. are open. Uh, that was sweet. It felt like you actually cared. Well, I'm no, I'm just surprised because you never get hot. <laughs> oh, never mind. I had this off, but I put it back on for the fit check. Um, second layer, which I went through. I forgot that I had some second layer like knits. And I was like, oh my god, I forgot how good. Obviously, yeah. their suiting is what we put like up there with. You know, next like Drake's, mm-hmm. and then like their jackets are gas. Yeah, but their knits are fire. I have uh, I have the mohair leopard version. They did honestly mm. because I've been clearing stuff out. I was like, yo, maybe I should wear a cardigan uh, on pod. 
Um, but I didn't, and we would have looked very fucking gay. That well, I would have not worn it because oh, I guess that's you right. have you weirdly have home field advantage when we because we potted my crib because you show up and that's, and that's a fit. It is what and it I have is. to work around it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you're wearing something, you're all, you're also like, oh, what are you? Larry wearing? eats first. Are you like? Nom, 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 nom. What are you packing for? What are you packing for London? Are you wearing the? Why are you are saying in CP that voice? I'm just. Well, what are you packing for London? Well, I don't want to be. If I'm is that being? Am I being anti-Semitic? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Let me add you to my spreadsheet real quick. <laughs> no, mainly because, like, we're not, we're only there for fucking. Are you wearing the CP bobber? <laughs> I'm, like, not offended because I'm, I'm a cool dude, but, like. A cool Jew? I'm a cool Jew, but, like, come on, bro. No, mainly because we're, it's limited space. It's kind of like with Chicago, where it's like, yo, I'm probably going to bring one jacket. Are you checking back now, right? No, fuck okay. no, dude. Yeah, and two I, days. Yeah, and I think two that like, two full days. if it's going to be raining the whole time we're there, there's probably going to be an out of wear, presumably a barber situation. I don't want to bring the one barber that we both have, and then we're fucking twinning all over fucking London town. Why are you bringing the barber? Well, whatever, I'll text you later and fucking have this conversation yeah. off mic. Let's have this off mic, Lawrence. You're Jesus the one who brought it up! Um, you fucking Jew. Yo, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what I also liked about doing this Sorry. big purge was going through my closet yeah. and like rediscovering oh, a bunch of shit, on, especially as we transition into fall. Although I was like packing for Miami summer weather, which is crazy. Um, How was the weather? It was like hot. It was fucking hot. It was like high. You look like you got a little bit of a uh, tan. I was in the shade the whole time. We're trying okay, to. I guess, it was high eighties. I, I guess that's just your beautiful Japanese olive skin. Well, no, I would. Jump in the plunge pool and then stand in the sun for a few minutes. Um, but yeah, high 80s, like nice. humid, hot. Uh, it rained once, um, but we, we it was like during like the chilling in the room, like getting ready mm. hour when I'm just like drinking a beer and reading on the terrace. Uh, we'll get to that. Uh, tomorrow Shop, very well represented. Oh, so we did kind of, yeah, double down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tomorrow Shop, very well represented in today's fit check. Shout um, out the boys. The boxers are. Our legacy workshops too, see, because it's laundry day, so we're in the big motherfuckers. Oh, dude, yeah. On the Billowy. wristicles, I got secondhand silver shop, secondhand silver shop, LA, LA. I don't know what you're saying. Autism powers. You got, nougat, you got, you got nougat mouth, bro. E L O U I E accent goo or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> um, they're in Miami, actually. And uh, no socks and New York adorned and drinking Green Points Finest. Cool. All right. All that's right. Uh, 42 minutes in and we can start the show. Yes. What should we talk about? Uh, how was Miami, dog? Miami was great. Um, I know it's your number two city. I and really you're at my number one hotel. At your number one hotel, mm -hmm. which I've never been to. I also really like Miami. Yeah. Because it feels like, I think in order to be a, a fire city travel destination in the U.S., you have to be able to like live there, and and if you can exist there without speaking English, it's a fire city. Oh, that's an interesting. I, yeah, that's a, that's a take. Mainly like Spanish, right, or <laughs> yeah. like uh, like some sort of Asian language. Um, you don't speak any Spanish though. A poquito. I mean, Jenna is pretty. She she turns it on. She she hams it up hard when we're oh, in fucking Miami. <laughs> Jenna is Mexicana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my quarter Latinx queen. Yeah. You married a <laughs> you married a foo. <laughs> I, did. Your, your, I, I did. Your your boo is a foo. <laughs> my foo boo. Yeah. <laughs> foo boo. <laughs> um, okay. So you so you so you were fucking Miami. What did you? Well, think Miami. Okay, like Miami, uh, New Orleans. Like you could be in a different country. New Orleans. No. No, I got a sprinkle like there's, like there's some nougat in your mouth. Put that shit on cracker, dude. You know that guy? You ever see that guy? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I love that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Put, put that on shit a, on a cracker, put dude. Put that shit on a cracker, dude. <laughs> I love that guy. Is that a wig? He wears a wig, right? That's not his hair. No, I think it's a, it's a mullet. And That's like, his real hair. Yeah. Don't forget to hydrate, dude. <laughs> <laughs> While we wait, we hydrate, dude. <laughs> Fuck, I Damn, love that like guy. Two years behind on TikTok. No, well, you know what? I just hit reels. Yo, oh, that's right. Yo, you're gonna hit. You're gonna hit. It just, it just hit reels, dude. In uh, January. In January, you're gonna be like, yo, have you seen these Halloween sluts? <laughs> yeah. By the way, you said that, and you kind of uh, completely grazed over it. Glazed over it. Excuse me. What's the situation? What was the popular like slutty Jeffrey Dahmer? No, just like girls dressing slutty love in it. the name of Halloween. Yeah, in the name of Satan, dude. Yeah, but it's for, but it's <laughs> dude, but it's but it's on TikTok, dude. Put around a cracker, dude. Yeah, my name's great. Um, standard spot. Yeah, give me the review. Re really liked it. Did I hype it too much though? You did hype it too much. The rooms. So I stayed in room sixty nine. Nice. Which nice. When I was checking in and like, oh, we got you in room sixty nine. I was like, nice. And then and like, the person like couldn't help but laugh. Yeah, of course. And I'm like, oh, I was like, really? And they're like. <laughs> 
yeah. yeah. I'm like, all right, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> um, and then I was embarrassed. Every time I charged something to the room, dude, I would say room 69. Oh. But then it sounded like I was saying yeah. Takashi 69. Yeah, that's you so can't I went win back to 69. It was a whole fucking thing. Back to black. Um, and I know you stayed in room 69, and I was, it was funny. I was like, yo, I'm having sex in the room that Larry didn't have sex in. Well, first of all, one, uh, if I'm ever having sex, it's typically in Miami. So okay. shout out to fucking me. Uh, shout out to MIA. <laughs> and then also, the, 305. The, the, boy, the picture you're talking about, that's a Photoshop as a, as, what? As a bit. Cap! Well, no, it was a joke, because I think we were in room 65, oh. and I turned it into, in like IG stories, because it... Made it to me. It was like a little Easter egg, but I was not actually in room sixty nine, so we did not fuck in the same bed, which honestly okay. would have been kind of beautiful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so sixty nine in room sixty nine. Uh, yeah, I think like look, you and I vacation differently, oh, right? Without this a was very out. this was very much the speed of this was like chill by the pool, relax. Mm. Like Chicago was crazy. That happened. Now you're speaking my um, language. The you UK fool. is coming up, and the sales come. The sale of the century is coming up. Like let's. Let's t- fucking relax. I cannot do sit by the pool and tan and drink for like eight hours. You just get too I'm, antsy and I'm bored. I'm too bored and I'm too hot. I can't tan. Like I can't sit in the sun. Like skin cancer runs in my family, so there's like that in the back of my fucking head. Right. Um, by what you mean, this like you know thing that I gotta get checked out on my scalp. Um, just kidding. Uh, okay. Jesus. It was a back of the head pun. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, Sweet. But Thank you, Autism Powers. The, the people watching is second to none. Oh, for it's sure. awesome. I love that crowd for sure. I saw six boobs. Um, six sets or six total? Six total. Three sets. Three sets. One set belonged to a transgender person, but hey, a win is a win. Um, <laughs> a win is a win. Oh, you've been cooking that one up all week, I That's can That's a see. TikTok sound. You'll get to that when it hits reels in a year. Um, and one was in the hammam room of the spa, which you don't go to the spa. You, you literally just go to the pool and chill at the pool, right? Uh, yeah, the, the, the spa... First of all, they, they they redid the whole spa, which is because of COVID, like took whatever, three or four years, honestly. So the last time we were there was the first time the spa was open. But yeah, we're not really spa people. Like yeah. Jenna, like I think she likes a massage, but it when we're there, like you said, it's it's pools, it's drinks, it's maybe a little hot tub, maybe a little plunge pool, repeat. I mean, okay, here we go to dinner. Here's like the general like daily schedule was like uh hit the hit the spa at like ten. And by spa, I don't mean like I don't mean get a massage. I mean like, um, well, like first of all, drink a lot of coffee and eat a guava and cheese, Mm -hmm. uh, pastelito. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe that's Spanish for pastry. Yeah. Yes, and Spanish for guava and cheese. Then hit the spa, which is like a hammam room, which is just like a hot room with like stone benches. Then the eucalyptus steam room, which Mm. I fucking love and need it for my my congested chest and nasals. Um, Clearly did not work, unfortunately. And but. luckily, when I was I was alone enough where I could just like hawk up loogies the whole time and Ugh. just like spit them in the drain. I know it was disgusting. That's Jesus and then Christ. like go take a cold shower, go back in, take a cold shower, go back in, um, do that, go back to the room, hit the pool like eleven thirty twelve. I know you're a fan of the day beds. Yeah, not a fan of the day beds because I'm not trying to be like on display. I'm trying to people watch. From and like yeah, be in, I, and be in the shade, but but well, first of all, all the day beds typically they all have their own umbrella, and I would say that the best place, I, if you, it's like watching a concert, bro, you want to be front row or you want to be in the fucking nosebleeds. I'll prefer, I prefer, and we'll take front row every single time, which is why Jenna or the some combination of me and or her, depending on what's going on, go down there at like eight a.m. to reserve those. That's insane. I know, but you can, but what's cool is like you can just throw down, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, hat yeah. and or a book. You know, throw down they're actually the, being kind of strict. They were they throw were, down the Brett Easton Ellis galley. They're being, which I got like through like two hundred fifty pages. How is it so far? Uh, good, good. A lot of like band mentions. Okay, and, so like, it's like a typical like in talk. the vase uh, va- in the vein of less than zero or like it's literally. Psycho, I guess it's literally blending his memoir, where he oh. is writing about himself as a seventeen year old starting on less than zero, but then mixing in. Like some interesting fiction, like fiction with like oh, a serial cool. killer and like, Ooh. but and who knows? Um, yeah, it's good. It's like seven hundred pages though. Yeah, um, I can't wait. But to it's not, good. I it's can't like, wait to not read it before we maybe podcast with him. Who knows? Yeah. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I, I and then like go back to the room, chill, nap, get ready. Did you eat lunch at dinner. the hotel every day, or did you guys bounce out for like? We just ate lunch at the hotel. I like and honestly, and I, I will say, I really enjoy the food there. I really do. I think. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. I like it's, it. It's it's passable. Like, <laughs> it's fine. It's like fuck oh, it. like this fucking snob. No, this like oh, look at this tuna sandwich with a ton of mayonnaise on it. Why are you getting a tuna sandwich? Because I don't want the fried chicken sandwich. Like, there's like okay, what's your order there? 
will typically share. What is it like the, the fucking seafood tower? No, just no. Just the flex on the day bed. No, well, the breakfast is really good. So we'll have like I never eat breakfast. Uh, we'll have breakfast at the pool. Um, no, I'll typically like share some chips and then yeah, maybe split a burger, <laughs> maybe split a fried chicken sandwich. You know, but just a little split skis. But okay, the fried chicken wasn't bad. It was a. Uh, it was unfortunately like Saturday was the brunch menu until like four. Which oh yeah, trash. yeah, it's not as good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. anyway, um. Let me. So there's like there was obviously like a fashion crew. I know when you were there, it was like the Drunken Canal kids. There was definitely like a fashion crew where uh, that's where I saw the transgender titties. Mm. Um, two of these motherfuckers were wearing Balenciaga boots, like poolside, which like like the Croc like, version. The, no, 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 the like the ones like all the way up to like your the knees. Kanye joints. Yeah, <laughs> but no, not the slip-ons, not like the gardening boots, like big laced up. So I was like, oh, no, what the fuck? I was like, if this person falls in the pool, they're drowning. <laughs> yeah, what? like they're being pulled right under. That's a crazy maneuver. But I guess it is like you know. People do that, like you said, great people watching because that's what everyone knows that's happening. So I like it. Just to recap, it's not like a crazy party vibe, but it is a scene, which is why I it's really a scene. I, I, I'm sure that it's probably past its prime in terms of like it's not like the coolest place to I be don't anymore. Know. I feel like it only kind of gets cooler because it's, whatever, not, maybe it's, it's off- not the new Pharrell Grutman joint or whatever monstrosity. Yeah, you it's know? not like SLS or like one yeah. the one hotel on like South Beach proper. I mean, I think like it's chill. A lot of like. Uh, oh my god, dude! Well, also the other thing is that it's it's a members club, right? So like mm-hmm. you don't have to be staying at the hotel. So a lot of people just come there, especially on the weekends. A lot of like hot gay dudes in speedos. Uh-huh. A lot of ugly straight dudes in speedos with like young hot girlfriends. That's my always like. I see a lot of Not- old. I see a lot of old like leathery guys with like a hot ass. Chick that they're like putting through nursing school. Or I saw that, but on the homosexual side. So a lot oh, of like daddies. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was gay, gay Elvis was there. Gelvis. <laughs> I put him on my, yo, here's how I know Instagram's broken, bro. I try to promote the podcast that I worked, that I, we worked yeah, so yeah. hard on, get like a few thousand views. I post some fucking leathery, yeah. saggy Elvis cakes. The most views on an IG store I've ever gotten. When I Literally was- half the people, like <laughs> 30,000 followers, 15,000 people saw the story. I will say, I think our issue, because we do, especially last week, there's so much promotion. This is like a bit fucking inside baseball. It's the links. They're be- where when you link stuff, it's getting buried because Instagram doesn't want you to. No, just but uh, but I'll promote, post like promote, you know? but I'll post like a food pick or whatever, and it does like fine, you know, six thousand views, whatever. Yeah, I post a strong. fucking like Gelvis ass, and was, it that guy had goes no to cakes. the moon. I mean, I saw it. He had no. Cakes. Someone's everyone's like, "Yo, oh, is that Larry?" I'm like, "Nah, he has, he has less cakes than him." Less than that, dude. But this I'm is not of that not only I I could not post his front because um, he was wearing this like you know like the bikinis that like girly like Ellie girlies wear now where it's kind of like loose it's mm-hmm. like a loose like sarong his, he almost was just, you know his meat you could was... like see nut on the side and then he just had this like uh, this like uh, tanning oil mm. and he was just so lazily just like languishly just languidly just like spritzing all over himself luxuriating he, then, he had two tumblers um I thought he was just sipping water. He unscrews one of them. It's a fucking natty ice tall boy Woo! that he pours into the other Let's tumbler go, and then dude. drinks that. Yeah, so this guy, and he had the fucking Elvis. So you're saying uh, this guy knows locks, how to party, bro. Yeah, this guy ruled. Oh, this is Gelvis. Is Gelvis. Shout out Gelvis, man. Um, is gay show. Elvis, is that, a, is that a come town thing? Could that be the name of the thing? Eh, I mean, I think we could, we could Elvis be better. Cheeks. Elvis Cheeks. Mm. All right, keep it going. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it was... I, it was really nice and relaxing. It felt like I was there for a week in a good way. Yeah. Um, even though it was only well, it sounds like you were low key like bored. It. I. I would get antsy. Where that like because this like, is because your girlfriend likes to have the kind of vacation that the Schlossmills like to have. Yes. And here's Jimmy out on an island, no pun intended, and you're a little antsy in your pantsy. Well, antsy. I'm like get. I'll get up and like pace around. I'd like go like you know fidget with some shit. You hit the plunge um, pool. Love the plunge the pool. The best, dude. The love best. the plunge pool. Um. Fucking love the. Yo, should I get a fucking ice bath and just put it on the balcony all winter? I think I have I the space know. for it. I don't know, dude. That seems like why would you that? But it's only the plunge pool only fucking slaps because then you have the hot tub. No, but now like and you go see, one to the other, they're not tingly. You're not on plunge pool TikTok yet, where it's like <laughs> Joe Rogan asked motherfuckers like, "Yeah, bro, gets your blood flowing early oh, in the morning." Yeah. Do you? Oh, you did it like first thing. Well, I guess you were in the spa at first thing. I do spa and then I'd walk over there, jump in the plunge pool, right, jump in the hot tub. But see. then like during the day, especially when I got too hot, I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd, that's I'd why I like it. So you get scorched out and then you you pop in the plunge and then you hit the fucking. Um, I will Hot say tub. this: I did leave an extra large tip for housekeeping because oh. I know that you've stayed there quite often and never leave a tip. So I felt like I had to overcompensate. Oh, this thing! And I'm so happy you brought up housekeeping in the room situation. You're right, Lawrence Schlossman does not tip. That's no, crazy. no. See, clip it out. Nah, that I hate this fucking narrative. But but the, this brings me to the thing that I actually really wanted to talk about after Chicago because I, I, I have a spreadsheet of guys who don't tip. And uh, <laughs> woo, guess what? The common thread is Lawrence. Who am I? Who am I? James. 
the more I know about you, the more I get to know you, the less I know about you. I found out that you do something that, to me, is so fucking preposterous. What's and that? We, and we were polling a lot of people that we were hanging out in Chicago. When you stay at a hotel, you, oh. you check in, and you the second you open your door to your hotel room, you put the Do Not Disturb sign up, and the Do Not Disturb sign does not leave your door handle until you check out. It that, depends. to me, is fucking crazy town. It depends. It really depends. It depends. Like on you don't do it with your girlfriend. Absolutely not. And it depends on the length of the trip. It only happens... The duration of the stay. Exactly. It only happens when I'm alone. And also, it depends on the purpose of the trip. Okay, can you... So, first of all... <laughs> okay, so you... So, if you're... Because you were not traveling alone, it's, it's not going to Well, the happen. worst thing that can happen, which actually happened to us, is we went out and we went to the spa and then we came back at like 11.30 and to our room... And it was being cleaned, and that's oh. usually, that's usually when rooms are cleaned is like the late morning. Sure. And so we're like, oh, sorry. Can we, luckily, we were already in bathing suits. So like, can we grab our books and our sunblock and right. blow it and go to the pool? But you got to do that awkward song and dance because you're like interrupting them doing their job. In Chicago, and, yeah. it was we had to go pod with we had to go pod with somebody and a few. Andrew, uh, Everyone Andrew knows Barber. that about Andrew Barber. And um, so I was like, oh, I, but no one knows who we're potting with next week because we never spoiled. We're potting Mel with Ottenberg. Mel Ottenberg, dude. Maybe my favorite pot of the year. Maybe we did talk about this. You do. I love, was. You do love a gay guy who loves you. Yeah, <laughs> one million percent, yeah. dude. And he's fucking so stylish and so connected. The most famous friends. He's that, awesome. I mean, he. Uh, was, I'm really happy that like we actually yeah. are like friends with him now. So we, we're going. I believe it's going Mel Ottenberg, Wiki, Andrew Barber, and then we potted with somebody, a big name that we're not going to spoil too early. Right. Someone's sick. Um, and then we're back to square one. And then we don't know. <laughs> and then we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, so I was on doing that for all Chicago where it's like, yeah, sometimes I just want to live like a fucking feral rat. Yeah, but where it's like, here's my other thing is that sometimes housekeeping, they're too handsy with their stuff. I have certain piles of this is, okay, I have my dirty pile, right? I have my pile of like, it's all piles. I don't hang anything up. Um, yeah. It's like stuff that like I'm maybe going to wear but not sure. This is my outdoor pile of my pants that like touch like, Stuff outside that I don't want any fucking sure. wear near, like my bed or like stuff, other Got stuff. Um, so your bed was not made once when we were in Chicago. We stayed like it was three nights. I also, I do not, I fucking hate, and this yeah, is the right, autism right. in me, yeah. where I hate the hard tuck no, of, the, the of the sheet. Yeah. Where I have to, I literally have to walk around the bed and untuck it. And what that does is because <laughs> the sheets are not fitted, yeah, yeah. then I see the actual mattress, oh, which yeah, yeah. I do not want to see that. Because like... I was giving Ash with the big hog a hard time because he was talking about uh, maybe buying a used, a gently used mattress. And what? Psychotic, right? Is who? Wait, like on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah. And was it like a crazy temper piece? It's like a crazy, boy? like, yeah, like a Gwyneth Paltrow endorsed one, but for like half the price. And the guy's like, oh, I've only slept in it a few times. And it doesn't fit my room, whatever, mm, whatever. That to me is, we were talking about used shoes earlier, and like, we have different opinions on that. I'm more pro, and I think you're more anti. But not, I think, for, not for cleanliness, just because I want to break it in myself. Yeah, but I'm the same uh, with like jeans. But a used mattress to me, I mean, I guess if. But then think mattresses about. Mattresses are so expensive. But then dude. think about staying in a hotel. Think about how many people yeah, but, have I mean, slept in and fucked and bled in that mattress. <laughs> bled. Yeah. I mean, we're we're talking about. If there's like, no blood. It's not a good vacation. <laughs> but we're talking about pretty like well respected, at least four star and higher hotels. Look at the toilet paper at the Thompson, bro. I know that the was a four star hotel with the single ply. You think they? How often do you think they swap their mattress? People out? were hating on us for complaining about that. And I was like, we uh, literally go wipe like, your asshole with single ply for four <laughs> days and get back to me. And I will say again, like we very respectful, love the hotel. It was just one thing that we had a bone to pick. Great hotel. And I had an ass to pick with the Thompson. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Blood on the cheeks. <laughs> Blood on the cheeks. Um, wait. So when we go to London, you're gonna and here's the thing. Let me just back up too. You're not a messy guy. That's why I was also surprised that you want to go feral mode. It's like, ooh, finally I'm on vac. Oh, maybe it's I'm on vacation. I can be disgusting. It's not even dis being disgusting. It's like. Uh, I don't. I here's the other thing. You ever read this book? I know you haven't because you can't read. It. It's called Nickel and Dimed. This woman, a <laughs> fucking academic cultural Was anthropologist. Was it written by Kanye West? <laughs> she she goes and she takes on the worst jobs in America and like dirty jobs. Yes, but it's like a worker Walmart, and she has to like live on that, right? Ugh. Uh, she's a hotel oh, house cleaner, and, right. and like these minimum people, they have shit. to like minimum wage shorty. They like. They save their cigarette butts and then like roll up a fucking like cigarette at the end, which yeah. you know it, maybe I should I might save some money if I start. But doing so she that. goes through the horrors and like the uh, humiliations of like being a house cleaner, and I'm like, look, if a, if someone that's is a house cleaner is getting paid, they're not getting paid by the room. Oh, I see. And what if you're they saying. don't have to come, 
and like okay. throw out my like cum filled toilet paper and my blood soaked. You're not flushing that shit. You're not flushing the jizz. Mm. Flush the jizz. You gotta flush the jizz. Yeah, you can't be. <laughs> Come on, know, bro. Yeah. Or sorry, it's more like the like the shit stains on the toilet bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like let that shit. Let the Especially shit. Especially in Chicago, dude. As we established. Also, we're about to fucking do a blitzkrieg over in oh London, God, dude. Yeah. Oh, sound man. the side, sound the alarms. But so it's like if you don't have to do that, and you're getting paid the same, and I'm gonna tip you at the end. That's a fair point. Like, like, f- that's fine. Like, I don't need the room to be changed over and cleaned every single time. So this is you. I don't need new towels. I don't need, like, a, a so made bed. So you're on throne blessing the wor- working class. Skip room 69, sweetheart. Yeah. It's on me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, no, that's not, sorry, that's not me, like, no, preaching. It's like, I don't need it. It's like, it's fine. It's totally fine. I enjoy I enjoy coming back. every. T- and I know, like, we were talking about, like, hitting that, like, fucking up the window of when they're there. But in Chicago, it was, like, pretty fucking solid. We would leave for lunch, have a disgusting meal, disgusting but delicious, and then come back. And I had a perfectly made bed for my afternoon meat sweat nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's more, it's not about me, I like. I got to fucking rest his leg and kick that shit out, right. fight for my life. But, you know. It's not about me being a territory. fucking working class hero and, like, saving work for. <laughs> You're the Bruce Springsteen of, yeah. of staying in hotels, of, dude. Of, home clean, of house cleaning foods. The, bo- <laughs> the boss is here. Let every food know the boss is yeah. here. It's more that, like, I don't want, like, I don't necessarily want people, like, touching my shit. No, I understand. Um. But, yeah, but you're so going to do that when we go to... I don't know. It depends. It de- the Hoxton's really nice. I really, I, oh, Sorry, we're staying at the Hoxton room 69. <laughs> the Hoxton's nice. I know. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm familiar. Although I, I wonder... Like, not to be a dick, I feel we got shortchanged a little on the flights, even though, like, yo, you can't fly international with the laydowns without literally spending a, a year's salary. It's wild. What the fuck? I don't know, dude. What is the point of that? I don't know. I don't know. Is what, it just where then people like like you, that's how they get that's how they get all your miles back. Wait, how do we we had lie flats on one trip, no? To Italy? <sighs> that we paid for. And oh. it wasn't crazy. At no, all. you know why it was those planes had a medium lay like it was a not a lay flat, it was like a lay. They're like, yo, it's a sixty degree situation yeah. or whatever. Versus I think we did lay flat to we did is. we did lay flat to LA maybe one time. Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully we're going to going to Anyway, LA we're staying at the Hoxton. Yeah. Come fucking Say what up. Don't John Lennon us, but, uh, you know, I know it's a nice hotel. I'm excited. It's going to be yeah. good. Um, one realization that I had. Okay, do you want to talk about the restaurants real quick, or do you want to talk about my fucking mind-blowing realization? I would love to hear about... the fucking uh, mind-blowing realization first. So we get to food talk. Give us some space between talking about candy. Hit the spa. <laughs> hit the spa. Go to the locker room. Yeah. Fucking mad towels, robes. You know the fucking vibes. Um <laughs> You know the vibes in the locker room? You know the towel vibes? You know I'm getting sucked off yeah. if I'm not sucking off? You know I'm peeping meat. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> meat peeping, dude. Uh, there's a scale there. I have not weighed myself in oh, dude. probably... Come on. I should you not, like, Why? I see Where no reason you? to, because I'm like, I'm Same. always just like, oh, Never. Like, it's about looking good, it's about feeling good, or how you think you look. Yeah. Um, and, and how you feel. Yeah, and how you feel, exactly. I have not weighed myself in... At least 10 years, maybe 12. Damn. Okay. Seriously, like, I don't go to places with scales. I mean, I guess I go to the doctor. I go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what? I go to the doctor, but, like, you I don't, don't go think to the that... Seattle fish market? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I go to the doctor, but I think they just do it and they just, like, mark it down. They don't, I, I'm not, like, looking at it. I'm not, like, asking right, away. It, the, the shit, it, the literal scale. No, it's like a, I have a digital oh, one. Digital? Yeah, but it's not, like, right there at your feet. Anyway, so yeah, I might need, need to get better health insurance. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you have good health insurance. Yeah, I, I do. Fucking actually. terrible one. But anyway, at least your doctor has a digital scale. Anyway, you saw so my health insurance company sends me a letter and they're like, hey, your plan doesn't exist next year. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, hey, man. Oh, anyway, you so get I get married, dog. I get out on the scale. I am shocked. Wait, are you going to. Legitimately shocked. You told me and I was flabbergasted. Are you going to say publicly? I, okay, the last time I weighed myself <laughs> that I can remember in my head, I was like 175. So since then, like 10 years ago, I'm like, okay, maybe I'm like 180. 185, and that's probably, like, what I put it. And we went to Chicago. We're eating wet beefs. We're eating fucking Chicago-cut steaks. I, Sexy Jimmy. <laughs> the artist formerly known as Sexy FKA, Jimmy. FKA Sexy. <laughs> I'm pushing four Virgils. Like, I literally had to, like, step two, off. Two bills. Two bills. I had to step off, see that it was calibrated, step back on, and be like, how the f- like, how is this possible? And yes, we've been in Chicago. Yeah. Um. Whenever we travel, it fucks up my routine of like eating where I just you like eat order pretty healthy because you cook for yourself. Yeah, except for the if, most part. Except if if I don't make it, and this is like the weird like autism ease. If I don't make it to like the farmers market 
and get like the veggies there. I don't live near like a good grocery store where I can get yeah. like good veggies. I know because we just had to walk fucking five square city blocks to get crunch and butterfingers. Yeah, and they didn't they didn't have good produce. Um <laughs> and if like like the Fresh fish fruit store. Starbursts are in aisle three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo, what? let me get some what you got any vitamin nougat? <laughs> <laughs> vitamin N. <laughs> Um, okay, so do you think that? Wait, do you think we? So are we less than you right now? No way. Starting that, start starting I mean, from there. That with Miami, there's so many fucking mirrors, and part of that is to make the small rooms at the standard like look bigger. But I'm like looking so myself. Full, the showers, it's full mirrored the wall. Yeah, bro. I'm looking exactly. myself. I'm like, what the fuck? And like, I'm not eating well there. I didn't eat well in the week leading up to it because I didn't. Sh- sh- well, actually, I did. But like, Chicago was crazy. The week leading up, to Chicago was crazy. Um, we're going to fucking the land of like blood sausage and beans. Yeah. Like that's Bang- not gonna bangers be bangers and mash, dude. Obviously, been drinking a lot. Um, tis the fucking season. Mm-hmm. September, and October, great drinking months. <laughs> We've been partying. Um, yeah, low key. Seeming like I had my brother's wedding. Yeah, and we had Chicago. Uh, we had the fucking fashion week was a zuvi. Wait, let me ask you a question. Before you saw the fucking Digimons and you like looked down and were like in shocked and appalled, when you like get dressed or you take a shower, or you look yourself in the mirror, did you feel like you were like gaining weight? Yeah, but I was like, okay. I feel like like if that's what you weigh, I will say to your credit, you carry it well because you don't look like you look don't look big. Well, the saving grace is I think muscle weighs more than fat. There you go. And For I, sure. but I've I've been like. <laughs> Jack done, Jimmy in the building. I've done fucking cardio since Cardi last dropped. Here, it's, it's too boring for you. It's, I fucking hate it. Yeah. It's what I need to listen to a fucking podcast. No, I like rock climbing, <laughs> and I'll go to the gym, and I'll do the TikTok walk where you sit the incline to 15. Yeah, that's cardio. I'll throw on Great British Bake Off, and I'll walk for 15 minutes, which I don't know if that's I don't know if it's working, though. Yeah, but technically that's cardio. But either way, I get what you're saying. Maybe you need yeah, to increase, but it's like maybe maybe I gotta, increase the interval. Maybe you got to do like a 45-minute like maybe. rowing session or like actually run for like a few miles. Um, instead of just walk. Damn, dude. So th- the era of thick gym, we're in it right now. And it, Lord knows it's only going to get worse, at least for the next also, couple like, of days. Also, every time my girlfriend's taking a picture of me, there's like, uh, I have a fucking like, Kanye neck fat line Ooh, here. Ooh, the worst. Like, I, I had been looking, my face was like bigger in like the Fit Pick photos. Like, I don't like the way I look, but maybe it's just like, my bad goatee. <laughs> um, but now I'm just like, it, I think it hit me. Damn, bro. Where I hate it had to be you, dog. In years past, not last year, but in years past, I've done a sober November. I think I'm going to, once we're back, once, November 7th, no, November 6th, the day after. The, the, the Darty, the, the friends Darty. and family Darty. Actually, let me, let me, let me, let <laughs> me, let me chill on November 6th. <laughs> on Monday, November 7th, yeah, until December 7th, I will be not, Shut. Booze, not boozing. Shut down. Which is like November, I think November and March are kind of the worst drinking months. Are they? Well, no, because what about the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving? It's such a prime, dude. But Thanksgiving, Anytime you see family, you got to be fucking But Thanksgiving for up, me, though. we're not a big drinking family, and Thanksgiving for me, I just take I take the L one stop, have dinner <laughs> yeah, yeah. with my parents and come home. It's not True. a big, like, yeah. to-do or, it's like, a, travel. It's a, it's a city kid. It's an Igby goes down type situation. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> um, it's a real Brett Easton Ellis type. It really thing. is. It honestly really is. Um, damn, so honestly, bro, now you kind of know... Welcome to a thing that, in, in terms of like uh, what what each of us struggles with on the pod, I feel like two roads that used to diverge have now just converged, bro. Because you're no longer broke and you're no longer fat. Okay, thank you. But maybe honestly, bro, this is maybe karma coming to get your ass. The fact that what you, the fact that you're not. I'm happy that you're not broke and that you're not fat anymore. <laughs> this motherfucker has been teasing me about my weight for I know, a decade. No, I haven't. Oh please, bro! I'm sure we have all get the fucking evidence. On look at the shit. tapes. Someone, like, yeah, look, look at, at the, the game tape. Um, all right. Well, listen, bro. I'm that's that's a what a shitty realization to have. But also, let's be clear. You're in Miami. The body dysmorphia is fucking popping there. Look yeah, at that for crowd. Sure. It's all fucking beautiful gay men, and then like fucking honestly, you know, the, the uh, plastic were, women. The the only hot gay dudes were like the fashion gays that were there that had like you know crazy body tattoos and like speedos. Oh, one guy had a speedo that said, "Don't ask on the dick and don't tell on the ass." Yeah, that's that brain. was pretty fire. Yeah, my, oh, is it? The last time I was in Miami with my brother's boyfriend, he has the same bathing suit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost as good as uh, Owen shirt. Drain this gang. That. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Fire, dude. Fire. Shout out drain. Shout um, out my. Shout out my drainers. But the gay, the bodies there, were very much like the type of body that I think was like in vogue. A few years ago, almost. I don't know. Or like a uh, real buff or taunt. a little more beefy mm-hmm. and a little more like clean cut than like okay. the heroin chic. Yeah, that we probably are seeing. You know, the rise of now. Mm. We're mean, back to lean. The fucking we're back to lean and mean. Well, we're back and to also, and, yeah. and in New York, no one's like. I mean, there obviously are buff dudes in New York. <laughs> Shout out all my, my fucking buff boys. Yeah. In the five boroughs, but no, I think it's Death a spot. Di- <laughs> yeah, I think it's a different. It's a different vibe down there. But damn, that's a. So did that ruin your vacation? You still went. What do you go to Carbone? 
Went fuck to you, Joe's, went, went to Carbone. Oh, Stone Crab. First of all, okay, uh, I want to shout. Didn't out, stop you. I want to shout out. Fuck yeah. No, no, I mean my. What I was looking forward to the most of, of this was eating. It was fucking eating right. Yeah. I was a little bummed. Miami like, is great food, dude. Not, <laughs> great food. Not to be a fucking hater, okay. but I was a little bummed that um, it was so nice in New York when I was down there because I thought that it was going to be like oh, yeah. shitty in no, New York. The was fire. And this is like when you like escape down to like uh-huh. high 80s, but it was still great. Yeah, you didn't I really have your I shout out, shit locked, I want to yeah. shout out Fuck Yeah, P-H-U-C-Y-E-A. Terrible name. Great fucking food. It's like Vietnamese, Thai. Um, one of the best papaya salads I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Coming from somebody that lived in Thailand for a year. Honestly... Top three wings in the country. Tell me more, dude. It's caramel chicken wings. Oh, I don't like a mm, sweet it's like savory. Sweet, sweet. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you don't like sweet savory. It's like. But tell me more. Tell me more. But it's like Asian-y. It's like fish saucy. Mm. So fucking good. So dark and smoky. Mm. Fucking. Mm. Now I'm back in. Yeah. Great. Um, okay. So that's a, so so that, check it out. Good. Big wing. cosine there. Fuck yeah, and like kind of off and the beat, wing, kind of and wing there, kind of off the off the torch beaten path. Then I went had to go to Joe's, which I know you're not a fucking seafood boy. Well, I love crab, well, bro. If crab is in the name. I'm just not a crab guy, which is a shame because Jenna loves. First of all, Joe's is not the most overpriced place. I mean, maybe I mean it's like, Carbone is probably up there too. It's like going to like uh like a institutional steakhouse. They have good they, fried chicken over, too, right? Everyone says they've been over there for over a hundred years. So the move is yeah. everything's mad expensive. Uh-huh. I mean, you can like it's not crazy, but like, you crab, can pull so. a bag there. Yeah, but like you. You fucking eat good, bro. Yeah. The move is, um, I did a we did a uh, a Joe's classic order, which is like five. You get the medium. Don't mm-hmm. get the big. Don't get the small. You get the medium. You get five crab claws, and a side of cream spinach, a side of hash browns, and a side of coleslaw. And then we did another order, five crab claws, and then we got a half fried chicken, mm. which like that's s- a good meal. I mean, listen, I'm not a crab guy. That sounds good. Somehow the half fried chicken, which is so fire, mm-hmm. and I'm not a big like Miami fried chicken connoisseur, but people were like, "Yo, honestly, best maybe best fried chicken in the city." Yeah, I've heard that. Eight bucks. That's it. Eight dollars for a half. And how much are the crab claws? A the meal. Dollars? The meal is like a hundred and ten. Yeah, the crab claws by themselves like eighty, and then it's like it's like it's like. Big baller steakhouse prices. Yeah, I'm not a. If I am gonna eat crab, eight dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. If I, I will say, if I'm gonna eat crab, I hate uh cra- like king crab or crab legs. I do like a stone crab claw. That's as it's uh, to me. That's the only crab I'll eat. But yeah, I, I just not a crab. I'm not a crab guy. Is that your favorite seafood? Crab is uh, mm, lobster yes. or crab. Crab, oyster, crab, shrimp, oysters. But not raw. I'm I'm fucking over raw oysters. How is that? Come on, bro. It's aphrodisiac. Too many people do raw oysters now poorly. <sighs> I just dress them shits up crazy, bro. But like, what you're I missing? I always be getting fits off, dude. I put everything on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what you're missing is, or what like New York is really missing is New Orleans style cra- uh, oysters, which is like those are huge. No, 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 not like the Gulf oysters, oh. but the way the way they prepare them. Oh, fried oyster mm. loaf, oyster soup. Fucking po char- like a po boy. Oysters right? Rockefeller. Char bro. Rockefeller's good. I like I Po like Boy is I love fried oyster po boys. I get a shrimp I'm a shrimp po boy guy. Mm. Wait, so um, you so you were saying crab is number one? Crab's number one for me. Yeah. Damn, okay. Crab's number one. Shrimp, oysters. You didn't say squid or octopus. That's up there Ooh. for me. The, the cephalopods, as we established fuck. many moons ago. Yeah, they're Maybe up there for me. Top and then you know, I don't I honestly don't fuck with lobster or crab. It's just not for it's me. Not kosher. <laughs> yeah, that's neither is fucking shrimp, bro. Lobster's hella overrated for sure. Yes, hundred percent. Anyway, uh, okay, clams so way overrated. Wait, so then, uh, so ver- so Joe Stone crab, expensive, uh, maybe <coughs> overrated, maybe rated. Carbone. Well, the thing. one the one last thing about Joe's that I liked is that mm. the guy asked for an Excuse extra me. dirty, extra dirty gin martini. Um, he gave me he gave me olive juice on the side. Oh, a sidecar. Side yeah. He's like he's like, and he was like weirdly snooty about it. He's like. I don't want to see good gin go to waste, so I gave you this like sidecar of just all of you know dirty olive juice on the side. I'm like, okay, so it's like more it's, martini for me. Yeah, he was he was a snob, but like ultimately he just got you extra side of dirt. Let dude. me stretch this out. Yeah, you get a trough on the side. Yeah, put some sod on the side of that bitch. Tell me about now. This is your second time at Carbone. Famously, we went with uh, the core four. We made a fucking movie about it. It's on our YouTube. This is my fourth time at Carbone. <laughs> really? Well, ex- excuse me. <laughs> my first me. time in Miami Carbone. Yeah, okay. Well, also, I didn't realize that you were such a carbone fucking aficionado. Well, I went once. I thought it was only for special occasions with the No, boys. I went once with NCB. He took out some of the well, boys. He's, he's the plug. He's the plug. Yeah. And then um and then once for a Levi's event from uh uh uh, uh, uh what's his name? Mm. Michael MCL ACL a, a continuous lean. Oh, Michael Williams. Paul and Williams, PR. They oh, did they Levi took- they did a Levi's event there. Were these 
were, was that before Carbone was memefied, kind of? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, this is like complex years. So um, how was the Miami Carbone? What's the deal? What was the scene like? That crowd must have been <laughs> spectacular. A uh, lot of sluts. A lot Woo! of like, like literally like girls in like see-through dresses like awesome. parading around. And I'm just like, what? Like So fire. Um, Happy Halloween. It, the, the vibe, the New York vibe is better. Because the, the vibe in New York, it's like small, it's cramped, you yeah. feel like you're in a secret club, it's dark, yeah. you don't know who's over there, you don't know who's over That's there. That's like the Drake on the rotary phone in the back of Carbone type shit. Yeah, Still. this was very much like a glitzy ballroom, mad space, which is nice because you can like, with the huge menus, you can kind of like, yeah. uh, you have out. your space. But like, the vibe just wasn't really there. And obviously it was all like people visiting that like came to Carbone. Was the food as delicious as in New York? Because I will say, all vibes or memes aside, uh, it is fucking delicious. Yes, I have never been as full or as thick. The Stussy, <laughs> our, the, the Our Legacy Workshop Dickies pants were unbuttoned oh, dude. and halfway unzipped. Brutal. <laughs> um, I made sure to wear a belt. Um, those are already, and it's even worse because that's the anti-vanity sizing where you're already sized up. Like mine are a 36, I believe you have a 34. That is, you hate to see that. Yeah, dude. That's that a tough rough. look. That was rough. <laughs> um, that was rough. Did you get spicy rig? Got the, okay, the order was... Sorry, I'm fucking salivating. The order was first of all, uh, free the free spicy salami and parmesan, mm-hmm. reggiano, and spicy cauliflower, reggiano. pickled cauliflower, and the bread, all hit. Mm-hmm. And honestly, like I could just make a fucking meal out of that. I know for real, dude. Hundred percent. We got. Oh, I'm probably fucking this up. We got the the ocean sausage, aka the the, <laughs> the octopus. octopus. <laughs> Chuck's ocean dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. You, te- you texted the group. That was funny. Yeah. I forgot. That's a nice little callback. And um, honestly, if you have not watched, what do we call it? Is it Carbone Zuvi? Oh, it's just also it's a just bong little, it's a bong Jimmy production. I'm throwing fits Carbone on YouTube. Yeah, it's blinded. it's ridiculous. <laughs> what yeah. a, we were so young, dumb, and full of come back then. Absolutely. Damn. Okay, so you got an ocean sausage, ocean sausage, Caesar salad, mm, um, great Caesar, great Caesar uh, and then I think just the spicy rig and no, the veal. Oh, the veal parm. The veal parm is gigantic and delicious. And like, we it's a bone in, right? Isn't it a bone yeah, in? Yeah, we only eat half. We only eat half of it, and like, it's like ninety bucks. So like, we left like forty five dollars worth of veal parm on the plate, and it's like, they're like, do you want us to box this up? And we're like, we can't. We're on our way to a, a seventy year old's birthday party. <laughs> and also, that's why one thing too, because when Jen and I go to Miami, we do eat really well. Um, and it's like, you you you're on vacation, so you you know you have the tendency to probably over order, so you can try more stuff. Do you have your favorites? Like, where do you go? Um, well, I'm trying to remember. There was an att- um. What's the? There's another great Italian place. Oh my god, I'm fucking blanking, dude. Casa. It's a hotel as well. Fuck, I can't remember. But anyway, my point is, is that the over ordering because you're on vacation and you want to like you want to ball out. You, th- th- I will never take something back to my hotel room. I'm too proud. I will never do it. Well, I even want- if I don't have a seven a gay seven year old birthday party to go to, I wanted to because it's like okay, then you know we'll get some drinks at the hotel and then like gnaw on some veal as we're watching like Love Is Blind later in bed, mm. and that'd be great. But um, gnaw on that bone. Yeah, had to go to. Also, the seven year old isn't gay. The, the seven year old son, my friend, is gay. Oh my bad. Shout out to your straight dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ernesto. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shout out Ernesto. <laughs> Shout out to- Happy birthday, Ernesto. I left a, a note in the in the um guest book. I was like, What did you say? Happy birthday, Ernesto. Great fucking dance moves, baby. Love James, <laughs> the guy who your fr- uh, son's friend who crashed your party. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, Sorry, Carbone. I'm trying to find this restaurant, but keep going. Okay, uh, the Carbone scene, honestly, not as like spectacular as you might think. And look, we were there at six p.m. because it was like a notif- a resi notification that opened up. Right. So like we had to snag it. We weren't there probably prime hours. Also, Miami is a fucking late town. I know. That shit for gets real. popping at like ten p.m. Do you guys like go like clubbing? We went to Max Club Deuce, which is the greatest bar. Oh, in the world. that's right. Of course, you you always fucking, fucking Capri's inside, baby. Ooh, oh uh, ran, really? Shout out, ran into Chris from Chapo. Oh, girlfriend- shout out, Chris, baby. Oh, that's right. They had a showdown. I'm there. like ordering at the bar, and unfortunately, it was not there during uh, buy one Casa get one. Tua. Okay, I'm glad that you found that. Sorry, I just wanted. To- yeah. Anyway, that was. I love. But it's that. good. That's oh, your regular fantastic. spot. That uh, there they do a v- uh, the best veal milanese I've ever had. Casa Tua, fucking fire. The best. Um. The only spot that I wish I'd gone to, but it's really out of the way and would have been a lunch spot, was the best Cuban sandwich spot in Miami. It's called La Sanguicha, I think. Oh, I've heard of this place. It's Sa- fucking... Sandwich. Get yeah, a little it's sandwich. F- it's fucking fire. Mm. And But, like, uh, it's going to Did put you have you- a Cuban while you were there? No, nah, it's going to put you down for the... Uh, we, like, the whole yeah. day was spent on the, on the premises, and then dinner, and then, like, maybe go to a bar, maybe just come back to the hotel and drink, maybe just, like, go straight to bed. Um... It was a very relaxing, and that's the way to fucking do it, bro. Oh, I agree. And then also, 
Oh, shout out to Sander. I don't know why, but slept like nine hours every night. Dude, I really like... Well, the rooms are cozy. It's more it's like bungalow style. Uh, the birds really wake me up. You hear the, the birds go crazy. In the I was on the... There. I was on the back side. Oh, so maybe you were, you were isolated. But also, in a good right way. near like housekeeping, the people that I tip so well. <laughs> but even though they were op- doing the thing like, kind of like right there, like in front of the curtains, you could not hear shit. Uh, I do sleep very well there as well. I think it's, um, it's got to be the mattresses. Speaking of fucking, you know, used and abused, but damn. Maybe I think it's the darkness, um, it's the quiet, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's the fact that you're in the fucking sun all day. Beforehand, like yeah, that true. knocks you out for yeah. some reason. I don't and know if why. you're drinking a little bit, <laughs> I'm looking at like a best Miami Italian list. <laughs> they put the fucking Olive Garden and cheesecake on here, really. But also, I will say another place that I really, if we're just talking Italian, Machiolina. Have you have you heard of that place? No, that place fucking slaps well. But I don't know why. What list are you reading right now? Well, I, dude, it's uh, it was just the when you just Google whatever comes up first. But uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> shout, you shout out the Cheesecake Factory and Olive Garden, some of the best fucking Italian. In Miami. We didn't go to uh, the, pl- the spot where Drake had his birthday party, which is literally called Sexy Fish. Oh, really? Yeah. Sexy Fish. I like it's called that. Sexy Fish. Dude, th- one of the times that I was staying there, he was at the Standard as well. He had the um, real? the suite. Yeah, it was Fire. crazy. I didn't see him see at him? all, which was like a bummer. No, I, which is a bummer. But yeah. he was there. I wonder where he stays now. But uh, this restaurant, they... But, but they, if you were... But it, if yo, they, were they, they, the renovation for the Sexy Fish restaurant cost $50 million. How? What? what are they, it's like an NBA franchise? They like, to make the, the fish f- sexy. I don't know. <laughs> make the fish sexier, dude. <laughs> um, I will say, if I'm Drake or I'm a celeb, you're not going to stay... Well, unless... I mean, maybe you do want to stay at, like, South Beach or, like, in the ship, but I think that it's nice to be, like, you know, you could go party at Live or do a walkthrough at whatever fucking club or whatever, but, yeah, staying at the Standard, just fucking Bayside, baby, all day. Yeah, I can see that. That could be nice. Anyway, yeah, so that's Miami. Uh, great trip. Um, I did kind of book the... I've never stayed at the Standard. Always just kind of been, like, South Beach, like, in the shit. No way, And dude. it was nice Couldn't to be, be off the beaten path and just, like, chill and be Tell quiet. Um, my, girlfriend was, my girlfriend was, speaking of, like, uh, Chris Ch- at Max... Again, greatest bar in the world. My girlfriend was like, oh, it's so nice that all weekend, like, we haven't had to deal with, like, running into, like, someone you know or a fan oh, coming like a up. Fan or a fan or something. Co- no, yeah. not even, like, running into someone you know and having I those, mean, like, Chris is a yo, guy. what's good? Oh, yeah, we should get drinks in time. Or, like, seeing a fan or whatever. And then, of course, the one place She's you want to go to. impressed when that happens? That's, like, the only way I can ever fucking impress JB is, I think like, she's getting kind of recognized. Anno- I think she's, it just happens now at a, at a pace where she's kind of annoyed, where it's like, we'll be going to, like, a thing. <laughs> well, and then, br- and then where I gotta, you live, too, it And then I gotta help. stop. I gotta stop and have that conversation. And, like, it happens multiple times on, like, a, uh, an outing, you know? Big fucking flex alert. No, not at all. And I like it. It's, it's more, oh, I love it, dude. It's more it's running into people you know and having to be, like, having to stop and have that, like, five-minute chat. Yeah. And she, as someone who, like, doesn't know and doesn't want to like be <laughs> in our world. She's just like, the fuck are you guys <laughs> like, talking I'd about? I'd like to avoid it at all fucking costs. Yeah. Um, but shout her out. Anyway, yeah, that was just Miami. Sick, dude. Welcome back, baby. Great and time. Now, fucking hitting the road first thing tomorrow. Kill Let's, me. Let me kick you out of here so I can fucking pack yeah. and get my basic space throwing fits, friends and family, bizarre mm-hmm. shit going. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the text right now. I'm looking at the flyer. Yeah, it looks all right. Okay. Um, this has been another episode of the only podcast that matters. See you in the UK, boys.